Okay, this is a super quick overview of my workflow working with letterboxes and exporting in different aspect ratios in Premiere Pro. Okay, so let's just get into it. I've typed in letterbox in the essential graphics panel and these two guys will show up 4K and 1080. So uh, in my working sequence right now um, that I'm editing, I threw on the 4K because it's a 4K sequence. Um, and uh, this is just a little Chia pet. I mean, I guess it's, it's supposed to be Baby Yoda, but uh, <laughs> I mean, it's not the greatest. Um, okay, so inside the uh, motion graphic template, we got um, just a couple of options here. So the common ones, you know, two, three, five, um, two to one, um, four by three. And I threw this one in just for fun because I know some people will actually end up exporting with the black bars, but this is literally why I'm making the video because this is kind of my workaround to edit and then not uh, export with the black bars. So um, that's pretty much what I wanna show you. So this, this part is super simple. Um, you can just click and drag uh, this as far as you need it um, when you're editing. And then once you're done editing, so um, there's two different workflows that I'm gonna show you real quick, but let's just do two, three, five. Um, I've left the sequence settings uh, frame size that you should be uh, making your final sequence as an exporting if you do not want the black bars in your export. So I'm just gonna click sequence settings for my final sequence and match your frame size to the ones that I've listed. It's kind of like a little cheat sheet. So 3840, 1634, and you'll see 1928, yep. And then, okay, so now I'll go to my final sequence and I've already dropped my working sequence in there and I'll just drop this down a bit so you can see. So no black bars and you can see where cuts off in the top and the bottom is where it cuts off the, in the top and the bottom. So it's pretty simple um, workflow. The other thing that I'm gonna show you is the four by three and one by one. Um, it doesn't generally work with this one because this is a little bit stylized and you'll see why in a second. So this is a four by three. Um, so we're gonna switch the sequence settings, same exact thing. Gonna come over here uh, and two, zero and then this should pop up four by three yep so change and then we'll pop back over to our final you can now see that it's looks incorrect but uh, I haven't found a workaround for this yet but you can just scale your sequence to 133.33 and that's it and again I guess this one isn't so practical but I don't know I just like it but it doesn't really come through as well um, on the final sequence this is more for people that are just exporting with the black bars intentionally on it because I know you know those people are out there I do it every once in a while but I much prefer the look without the black bars okay so if you're sitting there thinking like dude why are you making this so complex um, it's just adding the letterbox here is kind of the reason why um, I'm telling you this workaround um, because if your sequence settings that you're editing in right now I just made it to um, 235 so this one um, and I right now I have room to play you know baby Yoda can do his thing but if say I added some effects or whatever and then I nested um, some edits in this 235 sequence I now lose all that information in the top and the bottom, which isn't cool. Now Baby Yoda can't do his thing, you know what I mean? So that is why I'm saying have a working sequence that has all the info that you shot and then use a letterbox. And then once you're ready to get rid of that letterbox, that's when you switch over to a final sequence. That's the, pretty much the pure reason why I'm kind of explaining this. So I hope that sheds some light on that and you don't think I'm completely insane. So quick and simple, um, 
I don't think I missed anything, but yeah, free download link in the description. If I missed any aspect ratios that you're looking for, please drop it in the comments and I will update this motion graphic template. And yeah, that's it for this one.